Hello, welcome to our discussion on accounting and we'll see today um, a brief understanding of uh, the employee stock option. The employee stock options are the options given to the employees to buy the shares at a predetermined price. In India, the guidelines are issued by the SEBI and uh, the SEBI's guidelines are applicable for uh, the options given to the whole time directors or officers or employees, the benefits to purchase or subscribe at a future date, the securities offered by the company at a predetermined price and these are SEBI's guidelines. At the same time SEBI guidelines also exclude some employees and these employees are the employees belonging to the promoter group, belonging to the promoter group, or directors holding more than 10% of the capital directly or indirectly. That means the SEBI's guidelines are not applicable to the ESOPs allotted to this particular group of employees. What is the treatment of, uh, of ESOPs on the financial statements? But before we try to understand that, let us get a basic understanding of ESOPs once again. Uh, ESOP is the option writer in case of an ESOP is the company and it does not receive any premium for that. It does not receive any premium for writing the option. And the ESOPs are the call options. That means the employees have a right to buy. Employees have right to buy and the employer is obliged to sell. Sometime, later on we'll see in more detail, sometime if the exercise price, if the exercise price, that means the price at which the employees will buy the shares is called the exercise price. If it is greater than the market price, it is greater than the market price, then that's called an underwater option. What will happen to the underwater options? We'll see that later. Um, the value of ESOP in accounting depends on the accounting value of ESOP. We'll see that first, then we'll come to. The accounting value of ESOP is required to understand the accounting treatment of ESOP. There is a very nice statement uh, given by Warren Buffet. He said that if options were not are not the form of compensation, what are they? If options are not an expense, then what are they? If options are not or will not find a place in the calculation of earnings, where in the world should they go? That means there is an impact of options on the financial statements. Number one, options are the form of a compensation. Since they form of a compensation, they will form a part of the expense. And since they'll form a part of the expense, they will appear while computing the earnings of the company. So the accounting treatment of ESOP is actually making ESOP an expense. But how much will be an expense? That depends on the value of ESOP. The value of ESOP is called the accounting value. Okay, let me transfer that, uh, the accounting value. And the accounting value, whatever you decide or determine, will be amortized on a SLM basis, straight line basis over the vesting period. And what is this accounting value? The accounting value of ESOP can be determined either by using fair value, can be determined by either by fair value or intrinsic value. First let me explain the intrinsic value. The intrinsic value is the excess of the market price over the exercise price. 
intrinsic value is the excess of the market price over the exercise price and the exercise price is the price payable by the employee for buying or for exercising the option and the fair value is determined by by, by using some accepted models for valuing the derivatives and one of the common models is the black souls model for determining the value of the derivative the black soul model takes take into account takes into account the stock price the strike price the volatility of those shares the time of expiry and the return which the shareholders are a short term risk free interest rates so depending on the decision of the company the value of the accounting value of the option is either the fair value or the intrinsic value and that value has to be which will be treated as the compensation has to be amortized over the vesting period has to be amortized over the vesting period so to recap ESOP is a benefit given to the employees because there is a benefits given to the employees they should be part of the compensation and because it's a part of compensation they should be shown as an expense and the amount to be shown as expense depends on the accounting value the accounting value is either the fair value or intrinsic value an intrinsic value is the excess of the market price over the exercise price in case a company issues the ESOPs at a price below the market price then the value of the ESOP will not be taken as negative but will be taken as nil or zero how are the ESOPs issued to the employees the ESOPs are issued to the employees by some time and rather most of the time it is issued through the root of the trust that means the companies set up a separate trust and the trust will receive the shares either from the company directly by way of a fresh allotment or the company may purchase the shares um, or the trust may purchase the shares from the market sometime the company may give a loan to the trust and the trust may buy the shares from the market and when the shares are the ESOPs are exercised the trust issues those shares to the employees and the trust receives the money from the employees and then gives back that loan and the trust as an special purpose vehicle will be closed after the closure of that particular ESOP scheme. Thank you very much.